Okay, if you uh, try to start your mower and you hear this, well, you've got a problem. Let's uh, see what we can do to try and fix it. First of all, an update. This has been just over three years since I bought this. Uh, I, uh, Ryby don't, Ryby don't tell you that if you flatten the lead acid batteries, then, uh, and use over 50% usage, then you kill your batteries. Now I knew this, I knew this about lead acid batteries, but hey, the, uh, spiel is it, uh, mows two acres or nearly three acres, uh, in one, uh, in one charge. So I set out to just use it and of course within two years the batteries died now Ryobi were amazing they uh i told them what, what had happened they sent out new batteries and an engineer and together we put new batteries in it and it's been wonderful ever since and of course now that warranty is halfway through or more i use the batteries properly and they've been great so don't go over 55 percent uh load and you should be fine now, I'm out of it's three years now, so I'm out of warranty. And uh, as just you saw before, uh, we've got this ticking problem and it's not putting power through to the back two brushless motors, which are the wheels, or to the two that run the blades. Now, I contacted Ryobi, again, amazing. Uh, instantly told me to take these four screws out and switch the wires which are on the on here to the auxiliary to see if they were worn because sometimes that happens and you can see under here two two wires you just pull them off and you just put them on the other side turn your key to the auxiliary and try again unfortunately that's not my problem so what you hear in that in the start of the video is the ticking noise that's a relay now, to their credit, they sent, they're sent they sending me out a, a relay for free, even though it's out of warranty. So again, Ryobi, pretty good, pretty cool. So let's hope that fixes it, and uh, I'll show a bit more in this video, and we'll see how we can get it going. Okay, true to their word, Ryobi sent me out a new relay, and they were kind, kind enough to send out a new switch as well which I didn't think they were going to do, but again, good on them. Uh, I've taken the side off the vehicle. There's the relay switch just under there. So now I'm going to take it off, replace it, fire it all back up again, and let's see if this fixes it. Okay, here we go. We've got the uh, new relay, relay in. Just a little hint before you start anything. Pull out the main batteries, cutting power to everything so you don't spark yourself all awake. Everything's in. I haven't put the side back on yet, but let's give it a go. No good. So I've uh, contacted uh, Broby again. Now they've said, okay, check one thing for me. So we've got the multimeter. And in the charging port, the two bottom holes are your positive and negative. So you stick the, so I stuck the multimeter in there uh, to check the voltage, which was 51, which is about right. Then with the multimeter still in there, Put turned on power it dropped the 44 that's alarming it shouldn't drop that far and when I when I create load by turning on the blades it drops to 18 now that was a big red flag for OB they said your batteries are stuffed now how could my batteries be stuffed when they're replaced by warranty only a year ago as in the start of the video and then he asked me what charger I was given and I said I wasn't given any charger just used the same one he says, is it black and yellow? And as you can see here, it is. And he said, that's the problem. 
Uh, we're supposed to be given a silver charger. It stuffed the batteries. So now I'm out of the warranty and my batteries are stuffed. But good old Ryobi said, no problem at all. We'll send you out some new batteries and a new charger. So I've removed all the old batteries. I've tested them. Yep, one was completely dead, which was pulling down all the rest. So now I'm waiting on the batteries, which should be arrive any day. Put it all back together and we'll see how we go. Well, here we are. All the batteries back in, all back together. New silver charger and everything is working great. Well, there you go. A little bit of a... Uh, a little road travel but all good Ryobi were fantastic uh, I hope this uh, video helps anyone else who has the same sort of problems um, message me I guess if you've got any uh, any questions thanks for watching